beautifulness places. And yes, when I was still in college, I came here from time to time to pray and reflect on my future. Today, I decided to bring you back here so that you can also contemplate this heavenly place. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, Proverbs 18.22 says that whoever finds a wife finds happiness. It is a grace that he receives from the Lord. Frankly, for me, you are this perfect grace that I have obtained from the Lord. My soul blesses the Lord, and do not forget any of his benefits. I, too, give infinite glory to God for giving me a husband who fears God. I really like the prayer life you have and also the way you take care of yourself. You are not neglecting yourself at all and that would make me very happy. Oh, thank you so much my better half, that goes straight to my heart. You know, it's written in the 1 Thessalonians 5:17 KJ21 pray without ceasing. That's why I don't neglect prayer at all. Glory to God for his word. Amen. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Do you know what I have to say? Frankly, I don't know it all. In fact, after the meeting this morning, the manager of the company where I worked came to see me in my office. Oh yeah, and what did he tell you? He offered me to work from home. I don't necessarily need to come to work anymore. Oh, that's great. And what did you say to him? I told him that it would be with great pleasure. So normally, starting next month, I'll be home with you, sweetie. We're going to be able to have a great time together. Oh super awesome. I can't wait. So like that. You will also be able to help me with the various chores around the house. It will be with great pleasure, sweetie. Thank you so much my man. For the past few days, my younger sister kept calling me on the phone saying that she had things to tell me. But what is going on with her again? I hope nothing serious is going on. So little sister, what was so important to tell me about? Please big sister, help me. What can I help you with? Since I got married and my husband became unemployed, he no longer takes care of himself as he did before. He has gained a lot of weight and in addition, he now spends all his time playing video games and really lets go day by day. Imagine my daily life, my sister. I am really starting to get saturated and I really can't get enough of this situation anymore. Wow. I can already imagine what you have to go through on a daily basis. Have you tried talking to him about it? Every time I talk about these topics, he gets mad at me and starts yelling at me saying that I treated him like a child. He is not cooperating at all. After that, it's impossible to start a real discussion with him, because he closes in on himself and starts sulking in the house. Really, I can't get enough of this situation anymore. You know, maybe it's the way you approach the subject that makes it interesting. You need to change your strategy. Okay, sister. What can I do? Instead of reproaching him, suggest things like giving him a good bath and massage afterwards. Instead of telling him sweetie, you have bad breath, buy him a new toothpaste and a new toothbrush and say to him sweetie, I thought of you especially today, this is what I bought you. And if I buy these things and he doesn't use them, what will I do? You tell him darling, you don't want my gifts anymore, I assure you, my sister, he will feel very embarrassed and later, he will do it himself. He will feel so touched in his ego and will end up thanking you for thinking of him because in general, men are not complicated on this point. On the other hand, you should not give him orders because he is your boss, but rather you should offer him things gently. And concerning his weight gain, you must take care of his diet by offering him to do sports with him. I hope he won't take it the wrong way. No, I don't think so. Oh, I forgot. Before sinking, the bath invites him to pass some good lemon on his body by explaining its benefits to him. And later on, you will do it too. Basically anything you are going to offer him. Do it yourself. That way he won't feel alone. I've taken good note. I will put your advice into practice and I will keep you informed later. Okay, it works, but first, 
you have to pray and put his heart in the hands of the Lord so that God can touch his heart so that he adheres to these new things that you are going to offer him. Big Sister, thank you for taking the time to come see me. All right, I'm going to leave. Okay, good day to you and see you soon. I am going to go and buy the things she told me about, because I would so much like my husband to start taking care of himself again as before. Good evening, madam. Good evening. What can I do for you? In fact, I had applied for a job. However, since I submitted my resume, you haven't called me back yet. Do not worry. We are currently reviewing the file and I promise you that we will call you back in the coming days. Okay, thanks and goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I've just finished my day, I'm going to be able to go home. I will go and deal with this situation again. Now, really, it's starting to overtake me. I, too, did not know that the problem that my younger sister had had in the past with her husband could happen to me. Because since my husband started working from home, he has put on a lot of weight and no longer fulfills his marital obligations in the bedroom. He no longer has the same prayer life. In recent times, he no longer takes care of his body hygiene. He allowed his hair and beard to grow so much. Before, he gave me little surprises here and there. He often gave me gifts here, roses there, good flavors, good smells. He took me to the restaurant, to the park and we traveled almost every year. Today, I don't recognize him at all. He has fallen back into his old habits again. He now spends his days playing the console as a small child. And if he has nothing left to do, he starts watching movies that will teach him nothing all day long. He is no longer as tactile and caring as before, as the advice I gave to my sister had worked, I would apply them myself in my home. Come on presto, I'm going to the nearest store to buy him the essentials. Really my wife is amazing. Despite her busy schedule, she always wants to do everything with me. However, I am no longer a child. She bought everything so that I could do sports and take a bath almost every day. However, I am not going anywhere. I'm really tired of this woman. Hi big sister, I wanted to thank you because thanks to your advice, God answered my prayer and my husband finally agreed to take charge of himself and not neglect himself anymore. Let us give infinite glory to God for this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Despite all my efforts, I have the impression that my husband does not want to improve. He is still hardening his heart and does not want to listen to me. Wow. He didn't even touch the body care utensils I bought for him. It's really incredible. But what exactly is going on in his head? But he no longer lives alone. Honey, are you ready to take a bath? Because I like it when you're good. Please stop for a bit. I am not going anywhere. And why? I'm going to take all the time to take baths. Let me breathe in my house, because I feel clean like that. Okay, okay, it works. Please, Lord, touch my husband's heart so that he can change, because I have tried everything and nothing seems to bring him to his senses. But I know only one thing nothing is impossible for you, Lord, touch his heart, so that he can return to the way he was before. Before going to my appointment, I will first drop by my son's house. It's my dad. But what is he doing here? He didn't even tell me. I don't know if I'll be able to go see him. Should I run to change my clothes and get clean? I should have listened to my wife earlier. It's my son. But what happened to him to be in this condition? It looks like he's running away from me. Hi dad. How are you son? But what has happened? Dad, what are you talking about? No, frankly. Why did you let your beard and hair grow like that? Sounds like someone who is depressed and has completely given up on himself. Dad, but why didn't you call me before you came? I was going to an appointment in your zone and seeing that I had lost sight of you for a few months, 
I thought why not come and see you quickly before continuing on my way. I really didn't expect to see you like this. You really disappoint me. Do your wife also validated your new style? No, not at all, dad. And I didn't even realize that I was really neglecting myself. But that's not at all the education I gave you when you were a toddler. You remember that? When you were a teenager, I kept telling you not to turn away from my life advice when you grow up. Yes, I remember dad. But that's not what you do. Plus, you've put on a lot of weight. I've put on weight because my wife always makes good food for me and I can't refuse but eat well. But that's no reason to let you go like that. Could you still check the food? Yes, I know, Dad. But today, I am working from home. That's why I've been neglecting myself a bit. What? Have you forgotten that you are married? Now I understand why you ran away from me as soon as you saw me. Now that you've got married, do you think you've already acquired everything? Unfool yourself, son. One of the things that kills feelings in marriage is routine. Do you want your wife to abandon you? But no, Dad, she won't be able to do that because we are Christians. Don't you know that if you continue to neglect yourself, she will be disgusted to approach you? Being a Christian does not mean neglecting yourself. You have to make yourself wanted by your wife and your wife must also be wanted by you. Look at me carefully, despite my age. I still talk to myself and I try to always be clean to seduce your mom again. Do not make that mistake that many men make after marriage. That is why I urge you to take care of your partner and yourself today. Start being much more tender, attentive and above all, do not forget the small gifts that are always pleasing. Okay dad, got your message. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome, son. Well, I'm going to leave because I don't want to be late for my appointment. Okay, that works. I think my dad's right. It's time for me to take charge of myself and let go of bad habits. My wife had everything in place to make me the same as before. However, I found it annoying. Here's my dad who had just said the same thing to me again. I know it won't be easy, but starting today, I will make an effort to get back to my former life a bit. I am so proud of you darling. Thanks sweet I. Today, I finally understood that I should always continue to please you more. We need to take care of ourselves, because a healthy lifestyle means habits to adopt in daily life to maintain a balance of good physical and mental health. It's not just the wife who has to be clean for her husband all the time. The husband should also make an effort to be clean by controlling his diet. You know, it is written in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, that the husband returned his wife what he owes her and that the wife did the same to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but it is the husband. And similarly, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but it is the wife. We should not deprive each other of each other, except by mutual agreement for a while, in order to go about prayer. Then we need to get back together, lest Satan do not tempt us because of our incontinence. It is also written in Corinthians 6, verse 19 that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit that is within us, that we have received from God and that we do not belong to ourselves. That's why every man, and every woman, should take care of himself. Wow! Thank you so much for these wonderful verses that you have just recited to me without lying to you. I am very glad that you understood all these things. May all the glory go to God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I venerated the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth that my soul glorify in the Lord, that the unhappy listen and rejoice. Exalt the Lord with me, let us all celebrate his name. I looked for the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. When we look at him, we are radiant with joy and our face is not covered with shame. When an unhappy person shouts, the Lord hears and saves him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord camped around those who fear him and he rescued them from danger, felt and saw how good the Lord is. Happy is the man who seeks refuge in him. To you, his saints, fear the Lord. Because nothing is lacking for those who fear him. Lion cubs experience famine and hunger, but those who seek the Lord are not deprived of anything. 
The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to remove their memories from the earth. When the righteous cry out, the Lord hears and delivers them from all their distress. The Lord is with those who are heartbroken and he saves those who are discouraged. Misfortune often befalls the just, but the Lord always deliver him. Thank you so much forever for restoring my home. May your name be glorified forever. Yours the power, the honor and the glory until the cycle of the centuries. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.